by non-governmental organization. He further appealed concerned NGO not to misuse monetary funds sanctioned by the union government for the welfare of the people. Before we come up with further news, it's time now for taking a short commercial break. Still coming up, JC alleges the staying of Ratan Kumar by security forces as fake encounter demanded appropriate punishment and KCP denied involvement in extortion bids on schools. Stay tuned. Manipur District Hospital Tare Community Health Center Tara Taru Primary Health Center Muda Nithoi Adung Isabal Gidamak Lady Center Sina Sina Piri Bakudum Saba Singhi Family Planning Angang Unaba Malaria TV S Sina Singhba Nagarik Ama Oina Adung Hapsa Yahak Gidamak Demand of You Adung Doctor Amasun Yenem Kumbiu Sab Singh Kangdaba Tarbadi Pau Pibiu To the Mission Director New Secretary at NX Building Room Number 204 Ningsing Biu, National Rural Health Mission Gi Saab Singh Na Ato Patabak Tau Batarwadi Madhu Aay Naya De. The JSC formed against the killing of Irengbam Ratan Kumar today alleged the slaying of Ratan Kumar by security forces as fake encounter. The JSC seeking a prop into the incident today submitted a memorandum to the Manipur Chief Minister in charge T.H. Devendra. According to the JAC, Irengbam Ratan Kumar, who was killed by the security forces near Vale Academy at Ningombam Road on 1st September at around 8.30 p.m., was an innocent man. He was nabbed by the police in civil dresses coming in an auto car from Langol area and later killed in a fake encounter, the JAC accused. The memorandum demanded punishment of security personnel involved in the killing besides payment of Aix Grisha. The memorandum also demanded a job to the family of the victim. The chief minister in charge, T.H. Devendra, assured the JSC that he will look into the matter after consulting with DGP and SP and take further steps after permission from CM. A meeting in the connection will be held tomorrow at 11 a.m. Proscribed outfit KCP denied involvement of its cadres in the recent extortion bid at Johnstone and Ananda Academy. In a press statement made available to the press, the outfit's information and publicity secretary, H. Poire, observed the egg were ex executed, executed by an unholy alliance of police and impersonators of KCP using the name of party leader Noyon. The release alleged that such impersonators along with the security forces committed act of terrorism, intimidation and other anti-social activities to the public. The release also lauded the teachers and students of the two schools for revealing the unholy nexus to the public about their illegal activities. This is indeed the beginning of the end of their mischievous ache and maintained that the party took schools as a free zone and never involved in extortion from schools. Those who demanded money from the schools in the name of KCP were in fact impersonators, the released aided. Press show of the first production of the Wycombe film, July 23rd, Ingilgi Kunhumdoi was held at the Konung Mamang Pulei Romba residence of producer Abong Wai today. The film is edited and directed by Ojit Kumar Ilangbam. The main cast in the film are Sadananda, Kamala, Rangilal, Thoi Thoi and Indu. The film depicts the pain and suffering of the family members, husband and son after an innocent house housewife fell to the bullets. <laughs> Manipuri digital feature film Thoicha was shown today to media persons at the auditorium of Manipur Film Development Corporation. The film was directed and produced by Ningthao Jam Prem and was written by Ningom Bam Jiten Singh. Noted film actor of the state, Hamom Sadananda, was the main cast of the film while actor Reena took the main female role. <laughs> Meanwhile, the fourth production of Loktak Art Pinkhang was also released at Usha Cinema Hall today. The main roles of the film were, were Maya Chaudhuri, Abenau, Kaiku and Boni. The film, based on the societal problem like misuse of drugs and extortions by militants in its impact to the society, was directed by one Niladhaja Kuman and is produced one by one Ananda Singh. <laughs> 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 
Sonia Gandhi was on Friday re-elected unopposed as the President of the Indian National Congress. Sonia Gandhi begins her fourth term as the chief of the country's ruling party. She became the longest serving incumbent. She was first elected the party chief in April 1998, replacing late Siaram Keshri. She has been able to maintain an unopposed election streak to the top post bearing once about a decade ago when senior leader Jitendra Prasad had contested against her but was defeated. Earlier on Thursday, her name for the party chief's position was proposed by, among others, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and her son Rahul Gandhi, who is also a party general secretary and member of the parliament. Other leaders of the party, including Chief Ministers Shaila Dixit of Delhi, Ashok Gehalot of Rajasthan and Bupinder Singh Huda of Haryana also proposed Gandhi's name for the president's post. Electoral College for the Congress President's election comprises 7,946 PCC delegates. That's all we have for you now, but before we conclude, the headlines once again. Locals nap looters suspect involvement of security personnel and Infal College students vandalize against transfer of three college teachers. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.